Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you routing in computer networks. And before we start with this video, let me tell you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. See, first I will explain you one practical example in which I will explain you how routing happens with the use of routing table which is there with routers. Then I will explain you how basics are there with routing and then we will discuss categories of routing algorithms. There are two categories, non-adaptive and adaptive. And to have routing, there are some essential dynamic parameters that one should know that I'll be discussing along with these two categories, right? So let us try to understand first, what is the meaning of routing? See, routing means path determination or frame forwarding. Like for example, if one device wants to forward frame to second device on internet. Then on internet, there will be so many intermediary hooks. So there can be so many paths by which that frame can reaches from source to destination, right? So how many paths are there? And out of those paths, which path will be selected? That will be defined by routing, right? So first of all, let me give you one small example like for example if i say here i am having host 1 and here i am having host 2 let us say let us say host 1 is forwarding frame to host 2 so how that frame forwarding will happen you see here there can be multiple path first host will be host 1 will be giving frame over here to router 1 now you see router 1 is having two interface over here one interface is connected with router 2 and second interface that is connected with router 5 so here router 1 will take decision that decision will be there based on algorithm but router 1 will take decision to forward frame in this direction it may forward frame over here also that depends on algorithm right let us say it is forwarding it over here then router 2 router 2 is just connected over here so router 2 will forward frame over here and router 3 will frame forward frame over here and once this frame reaches to router 4 router 4 knows okay here i am having destination device it will give frame over here right so see router 1 knows h1 is connected here and router 4 only knows h2 is connected here otherwise other routers are not having an idea about where is h1 and h2 remember this so here how this path is getting determined that is referred as routing. Now, here you should know with router, there will be tables and standard format is like this only in which there will be mask. After that, there will be network IP and based on network IP, there will be interface. Like you see, for example, if I talk about router 1. So, router 1 is having interface X over here. Router 1 is having interface Y over here and router one is having interface z over here so what router will do router will see frames over here which is having interface x now as if frame comes over here after that it will router one will do masking so let us say it is doing masking in sequence so obviously frame comes from x so it will not check for x but it will it will check for now y so it will mask first after masking if network ip is this then it will forward frame to y after masking after masking if network ip is this then it will forward frame to z see this is how router is forwarding frames so there will be table so whatever destination ip is there based on that masking happens and from masking it will be forwarding frames to interface interface means links right so here I have just shown you one example in which x to y forwarding is happening over here. Means from x frame is coming, router 1 is forwarding it to y. Right. And this, this entries in table that depends on how algorithms are there with these routers. Right. So this router will be communicating with each other based on algorithm. And algorithm will decide like how frames will be routed in computer network right so let us discuss first how many basics are there 
like you see here routing is the process for selecting path in computer networks using the routing table routing algorithm path determination is done router has routing table which includes mask network id and interface which we have seen over here right routing algorithm can be adaptive or non adaptive adaptive means dynamic and non adaptive means static see in dynamic path determination that will be dynamic so that depends on parameters and in non adaptive path determination will be fixed there will be fixed strategy by which path determination happens in that non adaptive while in adaptive there will be dynamic strategies right i'll show you what are the parameters so that will give you more clarity see algorithm explains how to choose path from one router to other router like you see here when frame comes to router 1 then router 1 will decide whether to forward to router 2 or router 5 right router 1 will not decide how to have communication over here at router 3 side remember this router 1 can decide only one thing whether to forward frame over here or here it may be connected with three interface so it will have to take decision right but that decision making that can be defined by algorithms so let us try to understand how many types of algorithms are available see in general there are two categories of algorithm one is non adaptive and second is adaptive see there are in category there are two types but in terms of number of algorithms there can be thousands of algorithms basically in practice i'll i need to explain you this four but there are so many algorithms available in the market right see in non adaptive widely used algorithms are flooding and random walk see these two algorithms that i'll explain you in great detail right in next coming videos but you need to understand these two algorithms are non adaptive means static and adaptive algorithms those are distance vector and link state see this link state algorithm that is broadly used right now in 2023 in this entire computer network so link state algorithm that that right now we are using right this distance vector algorithm that we were been using in 90 90s and early 2000s right now let me explain you how many dynamic parameters are there see static algorithm static algorithm will not see this dynamic parameters right this adaptive algorithm will only see this dynamic parameters and based on this dynamic parameters it will take decision of routing see those dynamic parameters can be traffic see for example as if i say here here right now this path determination happens like this but what if this router 3 is flooded by so many data what if so much data what what if so much data that comes over here like right, like see this router 3 that is also connected with some local area network over here that is also connected with some local area network over here if if host of this local area network is forwarding so much data then see rather to choose this path this path is better right but that selection that can be done in adaptive algorithm only so dynamic parameter is what traffic so traffic will change with respect to time for example in your college during college time traffic at your college will be huge but after college time period traffic will be very rare over there right so at night time in the vicinity of your college some homes will be there from where people are using internet so at that time routing may happen via your college but during day time when students are there at your college at that time uh, traffic will be more at your college so other people will not be communicating via your college are you getting me see this is how things are there see topology also dynamic parameter topology means so many devices may be connected in future the reason is see internet is flexible many people are getting added many people are getting out that happens frequently it is also possible like some new routers may get connected over here it is also possible some new host may get connected over here so topology changes see this structure will change continuously for example if one wire cut is happening right you can say topology changes over here so this router that will now communicate via router 1 over here right 
so topology changes with respect to time that is dynamic parameter right see third is network issues there can be thousands of network issues like earthquake may happen some routers are getting failed some links are getting breakdown or server is damaged somewhere or it may be possible like your router is not working properly or it may be possible like optical fiber that is getting banned somewhere so speed is getting deteriorated many network issues are possible right so based on this dynamic parameters routing should change right and that is possible in adaptive routing algorithms that is not possible in non adaptive routing algorithms so in next coming videos i'll explain you how these algorithms are there and that we will study in great details still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video